Okay, so uh, today's just something a little different. Uh, this time we're going to be focusing on a, a great accessory that you can use to really get the most out of your um, QNAT NAS, especially a high performance all SSD, all flash NAS. Um, so the NAS I'm using here is a TS-H1290FX. Uh, which just happens to have two 25 gig uh, network ports on the back. Um, but my MacBook Pro does not have, actually it doesn't have any network ports built into it, everything's through a, a connection through a, a USB-C or a Thunderbolt connection. Um, but this is a very unique device, it allows me to convert my Thunderbolt ports into two 25 gig connections. So this is the Sonic Tech Twin 25G. Um, really great device, quite small. I'll scroll down the web page here so you can see what it looks like next to laptops and things. Um, they give you transceivers with it in the box um, to do all the connectivity that you'd need. Um, it's got two Thunderbolt ports, so one can be used for linking to your computer, uh, one can be used for passing on power or connectivity to a device further down the line as well. If I scroll down a bit further, we can see the key features. Um, so it's got two 25 gig connections. Um, everything that you need is in the box. It's backwards compatible to 10 gig as well. Uh, it works with everything you'd need it to, so Mac, Intel, Linux. It works with the Macs, whether they're uh, using um, uh, Intel chips as well as the Apple um, Silicon as well. Um, so it's really good for that. Um, very quiet device. It's sat right next to my laptop here. I'm just using the built-in microphone on the laptop. Um, I'm sure you can't hear it. It's very hard to hear just with me sat here anyway. As we scroll down a bit further, you can see what it looks like next to a MacBook. So really not very big at all. Very compact device. Uh, that's what the back of it looks like as well. And the cable's pretty cool as well. They give you this um, little screw connector on the end of the Thunderbolt cable. So um, you can screw it into the screw hole. So once it's connected into the back of this uh, Twin 25G device, you can screw it in so it doesn't accidentally get pulled out or knocked. Um, so that's a nice touch as well. Um, there's the two 25 gig ports but everything you need is included in the box. The Thunderbolt cable um, and the SFP28 transceivers. Um, so you can either get yourself a little fiber cable to go between those two, or you can just go get some DACs instead if you want to use those. Um, if we go across to the tech specs of the device, uh, scrolling down here, we can see it's got support for all the major operating systems. Um, it's using a Mellanox uh, ConnectX chipset, which is in the exact same chipset we use in the QNAP's built-in 25 gig as well. Uh, one thing I did want to point out is it says link aggregation or NIC teaming is not supported. Um, I'll cover that a bit more here, but I found a sort of way around that um, using SMB multi-channel instead. Just a simple tick box on the QNAP, but we can use that. Uh, so that's a really good option. Uh, and the maximum packet size or jumbo frame support is 9000, uh, which is what I'm using. So if I click into the NAS, uh, we can see here adapter 1 and adapter 2 are the 25 gig ports. It's showing that I am connected at 25 gigs on both of the NICs. So I've got two connections here from my MacBook to it. Uh, we can see the MTU size is set at 9000. Uh, so that's going to match what I've got set for the uh, network card itself. So if I come in here, so I've got my two Thunderbolt network adapters, which are the uh, the two that are presented to me from the Sonnet uh, 25 gig, twin 25 gig here. So if I click in and go to the details, Go to hardware, we can see I've got the jumbo frame set at the 9000, which matches the QNAP as well. Uh, so that's absolutely working flawlessly here. So that's how that one looks. If I go into the control panel, um, under the uh, network and file services, Win, Mac, NFS, and WebDAV, we've got this tick box. Uh, I think by default it's turned off, but you can turn it on. Um, SMB multi-channel, so if you've got uh, two network interfaces from your QNAP, two from your laptop, um, from whatever device you've got this Sonnet Twin 25G connected to. You can tick that and we're able to get bandwidth to come down both channels. Uh, so here we can see adapter 1 and adapter 2, so just to prove they're the same, so adapter 1 and adapter 2 are both the uh, uh, 25 gig ports we're going to be testing with. And we're going to start seeing spikes appear on this on the right hand side of each of these two charts. Uh, so here's AJA System Test Lite. Uh, so I'm going to click start on that. So we'll let that start ramping up here. So that's going. So a nice sort of benchmark there. So getting some nice fast performance. If I just move that out the way, uh, we can see that we've got data appearing here as well. So we can see of the 15 to 1800 megabytes a second we're getting in that benchmark, we're able to see that it's getting split between the two network ports. Uh, so whilst um, 
nick teaming or link aggregation is not supported officially by the card if you use something external of the card like smb multi-channel to do it instead it works just great so i can slide that back in so we're still getting that same bandwidth in here um, so it's transferring to the aja volume which is on the nas itself so i can just stop that uh, so the, the place i'm sending that data to is just this aja folder that i've got in the nas so this is where i'm doing the test too um, so nice fast device incredibly good um, absolutely awesome accessory if you want to get the most out of the QNAP uh, so if you if you have a, um, a computer that doesn't have any faster connectivity options like a, a Mac Studio they only come with a single 10 gig some I think some Macs you might be able to get two 10 gigs on um, but certainly my laptop absolutely no network cards um, inside it at all um, this connected to it is going to give you really really fast performance it's going to get you well over um, a single 10 gig port speed you've got two 25 gig options here to connect to two different things if you needed to as well um, or you can use smb multi-channel to improve the bandwidth to a single place um, so yeah just to summarize that's if i scroll back to the top this is the uh, sonnet tech uh, twin 25g all one word um, that's what this device is really really awesome little device um, for you to be able to connect uh, to your higher performance qnaps uh, or any QNAP that you've got that's been upgraded with a 25 gig board, even if it doesn't come with it as standard. Um, so highly recommend this device. Thank you very much to Sonnet Tech for sending us this out. Uh, we'll put all the relevant links in the uh, in the uh, description below the video. So if you wanted to go buy it, we'll put it. We'll put a link to where you can do that. Um, but works absolutely fantastic with the QNAP. So no problem recommending this at all. If you have any questions about it, um, just let us know in the comments section down below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. All right, thanks a lot for watching.